New developments tonight in an ongoing scandal surrounding evidence examiners at the SBI. Yeah, a judge ruled the SBI must turn over details of failed examiner certification tests. Buckham County DA Ron Moore recently filed suit to gain access to that information. News 13's Mario Boone is live at the Buncom County Courthouse with our top story. Could this ruling impact any criminal cases, Mario? Well, it's already affected at least one case of a convicted drug dealer, and Ron Moore's office has identified dozens more cases where SBI agents testified, agents we now know failed certification tests. A judge sides with Buncombe County DA Ron Moore in his unprecedented lawsuit against the State Bureau of Investigation. We've spent a lot of time getting to this point where we shouldn't have had to do it in the first place. He wanted the agency to turn over names of agents who failed certification tests and the specific areas they didn't pass. Now we're having to go back and, and try to deal with it. His office combing through dozens of old cases where agents who failed certification testified. We have since identified somewhere between 80 and 90 cases. Including the case of convicted cocaine trafficker Derek Eddings Jr. I've been here for a long time. His attorney is Roger Smith. He's hoping that it will be reversed and he'll be granted a new trial and be found not guilty. Eddings' attorney says this latest SBI scandal hurts the administration of justice and puts innocent people at risk of going to prison. It's not good for the state, the district attorney's office, it's not good for them, it's not good for the defense attorneys, obviously it's not good for defendants. The DA cautions not to paint the SBI crime lab with a wide brush, noting many agents failed certification exams not specific to their area of expertise. Moore is also encouraged by the recent willingness of the SBI to provide a lot more information about its staff. They're sending this stuff by email, uh, fax machine, and certified mail. And the actual judge's order has not been made public yet. As soon as it's filed in the courthouse right behind me, we'll post a copy on our website, WLOS.com. Reporting live tonight outside the courthouse, I'm Mario Boone, News 13.